I had a Radio Shack in the past and there are videos on my YouTube channel where I have already showed this software defined uh, shortwave receiver working on Linux. Uh, and by the way, there are many, many programs on the World Wide Web via which you can make a uh, SDR short wave radio, software defined short wave radio. Um, and well, uh, this is what I'm with which I'm working at the moment. It works on Linux. Linux. Uh, there is another video where I have showed especially this part of that unit. It's a um, uh, very simple amplifier made with a BC547B, a coil and a capacitor uh, say to uh, bring the antenna and that antenna is now here. It's a free uh, one wire antenna hanging in my room. And in that case, you can say use this circuit here. I will give the link in the description. You can use that uh, circuit to say lift up the level the high frequency level uh, when using say this antenna this is a wire antenna indoor wire antenna but perhaps also with other antennas anyway um, of course uh, when I say made this picked up this project again making a radio shack I need it at least in my opinion, um, a small amplifier uh, because I found that the amplification here in the program was not very high. Anyway, could be that I had to study that program better to make the audio level uh, higher, etc. etc. But my idea was let me make um, a very small audio amplifier <coughs> and I made it with a LM386 uh, well that's more or less the classical classical uh, chip used everywhere many many circuits of the that chip are on the World Wide Web and of course I will show the schematic at first say uh, the most original um, uh, schematic is from National Semiconductors and you will surely recognize that logo here um, well pen over very very slowly to show all the properties of this beautiful um, LM386 chip. And I've used this circuit. It's an amplifier with a gain of 200. My idea was to get the maximum gain out of the chip uh, and well, that's the reason why I made it this way. Uh, in in the past, I found that this chip for other applications did not work so well. It it worked of, of course properly, but um, it could not give out a lot of volume. And there's a reason why I have used here in this uh, in this unit that I've made uh, a speaker with a good output energy that differs, of course, also. So 
uh, this is the national semiconductor book etc etc here are the properties I don't want to elaborate more elaborate more because well this chip is everywhere on the World Wide Web perhaps interesting to show how I made it this is my schematic used in this case and the most important thing to tell is that power supply you need a good very good uh, hum free power supply because this chip in this say more or less high amplification mode and then I mean in AC terms takes up a lot of noise and um, um, when here at the input there is a, a high impedance but of course when we look at the computer headphone output that impedance is in general very very low that will mean that when you connect that chip to the computer headphone out all your uh, say more or less hum and other say disturbing uh, things that you hear are drop down I will demonstrate it let me demonstrate it here is that what I've made here is the chip of course and here is my sound on 13.753 now I take the uh, headphone output out so that the, the amplifier here that uh, LM uh, chip uh, sees at its input more or less an endless impedance so well, I have to of course in this in this way I have to switch off the output of the uh, computer but anyway you see how sensitive that chip amplifier is and all this, this, these disturbances that you hear but when I plug it in here into that computer everything is gone so no hum etc etc uh, that are more or less things to take in account so don't worry when you have made such a, a audio chip with uh, with that LM uh, chip and you have all kinds of strange sounds don't worry the, the, the impedance say the input impedance to that chip plays a very big role so that was more or less all to tell thanks for watching uh, this is an extra switch I want to make a noise reduction here that can be very very simple one capacitor only one capacitor bridging say the audio rail to ground in the order of say 10 nanofarad or 40 nanofarad 47 nanofarad uh, when the capacitor value is higher there will be more noise reduction with 10 nanofarad you have a tiny noise reduction and with uh, say 100 nanofarad uh, the sound will surely be dull anyway
deux adresses. Radio.cgtn.com et français.com. And you hear that distortion that's overdrive. La radio qui fait entendre la différence. But for shortwave, well, that is, uh, in my opinion at least, a minor issue. But of course you can use a voltage divider at the input to be absolutely sure that such a simple amplifier is not overdriven by the uh, headphone signal. And of course such a headphone signal out of a computer has, uh, is quite fierce. And it's made for, say, uh, a, an output source in the order of 8 ohms up to 32 ohms. And well, that means that uh, could be too fierce, but anyway, with a voltage divider you can correct that. And of course, the distortion could also have to do with, say, the not proper tuning on that radio signal. You can surely see here that that my that is a little bit uh, not to the maximum level of that of that uh, say radio signal. I have to correct it a little bit. I don't want to make my video too long, so let me try to correct it a little bit. So here the noise level is at its minimum. Anyway, thanks for watching. Alors, euh, on va commencer par euh, Christelle, je pense, euh, parce que vous êtes allé sur le terrain pour explorer les nouveaux...